It's 815 on the East Coast. ADP's report showing a gain of 140,000 jobs. Expectations were for 150,000. Total private payrolls up 140K. As we just said, the estimate was 150. Goods plus 30K. Services plus 110. Uh, Non-farm payroll estimate plus 198. And January ADP uh, was revised up slightly from 107K to 111K. Uh, as far as uh, small businesses, um, plus 13K, medium, plus 69K, uh, and large, up 61K. Uh, uh, leisure hospitality, uh, also, uh, as you can see there, up 41K, construction, trade, financial activities, education, and health services. Uh, across the board, you can see with some gains. For more on the uh, new ADP report, uh, let's bring in ADP Chief Economist Neela Richardson. I am just going to assume that every number I just mentioned you could repeat, even if, I, if you didn't look down at, at, at notes, Neela. So you, you, I know you know better than anyone what, what is significant here to talk about. So lay it on me. Do. I think there are some significant developments in the labor market. I actually think the headline number is solid, but what's underneath the hood of these numbers is fascinating. And I'll start with that, that small, large firm divide, because we actually saw a pickup in hiring in large firms, especially in professional business services, manufacturing, which in aggregate has been weak since a better part of the of a year, saw some growth with large firms, not with smaller firms. And then we saw some growth in education and health. So that tells me that the largest players in the economy are still hiring like there's growth. I think the second thing, though, to keep in mind is that the pay increases that we're seeing showed a big, bit of a shift last month. Uh, they've been coming down for job stayers. 5.1% was the year-over-year -year change. But they bumped up a little bit. For job changers. That shows a labor market that's still dynamic, where you can still get a little bit of a pay bump from switching jobs. And that's the first time we've seen an increase in that number since 2022. So still a market that's solid and hiring, at least in pockets. And I think that's going to be interesting to see how those numbers develop over the course of the year. I'm not feeling the cuts. I'm not feeling cutting rates on what you just told me. In fact, it it almost sounds like the progress that we're still hoping to make as we try to get the 2 percent, maybe it really is true that they, it's going to be much more difficult sledding than it was getting down to where we are right now, especially if you're getting a bump in wages again. You know, it's, it's a complicated labor market. It's not an easy story because at the same time we're seeing these solid job gains. A bigger proportion of these jobs are part-time jobs. In fact, ADP mm. Research just put out a number showing that people are working less, and that fits with the BLS story. Hourly workers are working less per hour now than they did uh, four years ago before the pandemic. We don't know why. Maybe people are choosing to work less. Maybe companies are indeed hiring more people but providing uh, less hours just to build that resilience in their bench strength, in their headcount. But what it means overall is what we saw in the December BLS numbers, that real earnings are going down because hours are going down, even though wages are going up. So very complicated story for the Fed. Um, it will be interesting how Powell parses those uh, dynamics in his testimony. Is there anything that, that you see that, that could be a harbinger for, for something on Friday that shows that maybe we are beginning to see some cracks in the labor market or, or nothing yet? No, no reason to think I that I would yet. really focus on earnings. I think that, to me, wages are the most important important dynamic in the labor market when it comes to inflation. It really is the bridge from employment to uh, uh, the, the Federal Reserve cutting story. And if you see another month-over-month -month acceleration in pay and in earnings, um, that's going to be hard to combat with a, with a rate cut. Uh, so watching wages more than ever now to see how those develop and whether, one, they stay above inflation growth. That's important for the U.S. growth story, but they don't run too hot that they trigger another bout of inflation. So we're on a kind of a hairline response to wages to this economy.